everyone, this video I'll explain question 37 from practice final exam. Okay, so for this question, you go at what temperature will the reaction be spontaneous? Then you're given with dot H and dot S. You go, hmm, what should I do? Then you go always, right? If you wanted to get a relationship, you go, what's what's involved here? How I can figure out if reaction is spontaneous or not, okay? Then you go, spontaneity is determined by what delta G gives for energy. And then you go, gives for energy, and no, equals delta S minus T dot S. Then you go, I have this value, I have that value. I, I wanted to know temperature and when it's spontaneous. Then you go, what does it mean? What do I need delta G to be to for the reaction to be spontaneous? Spontaneous, you go, oh, I know. I need delta G to be smaller than zero. That's what it, the reaction is gonna be spontaneous. Okay, so now that's how you figure out the question. They go, oh, that's what I wanted. Now I have a relationship I can solve for. And now let's just plug in the values, right? Okay, so from here it's easy. Dot H is 22.2 kilojoule minus T. We don't know what we're looking for. Dot S is 81.1 joule per K times mole. And then you go, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so you go, okay, so um, let's see. Okay, so I need to reorganize the equation. So that'll be negative delta T, I mean, T times a 1.1 joule K times mole smaller than negative 22.2 kilojoule per mole. I solve for this, right? Okay, so now you solve for this question, you can get T, but then remember, one's kilojoule, one's joule. So that means you have to use 22.2 multiply by 1,000 to get rid of that K, right? And then you divide it by 81.1, so you get temperature, okay? So when you solve for this, temperature will be need to be bigger than 274 K, okay? So then that will be the answer D. Okay, so that's how you solve this question, okay? So basically, you need to know, right, what this gives for energy means, and then what's how it's related to spontaneity of a reaction. Okay, so then this is just how you solve this question. Okay. Um very easy, right? Okay, so that's it for uh, for this question. Thank you for listening.